welcome back. Are you ready to do some fun art activities? All right. You're, before we begin and I tell you what things you're gonna need, I want us to explore a little bit more uh, the string instrument. This is a ukulele, which is a kind of guitar. And I wanted us to find out how many strings it has. Can, we, can you count with me? One, two, three, four. It has four strings that go from the bottom all the way to the top. And when you turn these knobs right here, it either loosens or tightens each string, which affects the sound that they make. Which brings us to our first art project. You're going to need the following things. You're going to need a handful of rubber bands. I have four, but you can use more if you need to. You're basically going to be making something like this. So I used a, a lid to a box. You can also use a cookie sheet pan if your parents have one at home. Uh, something that you can put rubber bands around. And then you're gonna need a, you, if you're gonna use, if you use a box, you don't need a piece of paper. But if you're not using a box, then you do need a piece of paper. Uh, you're gonna need paint and you can either use your fingers for this project if you want to or I'm going to use a craft stick. It's up to you. You could also use a paintbrush uh, but if you're gonna use a paintbrush you want to use the not the brush side but the handle side and I'll show you why in a moment. So I'm gonna point the camera down to my art project so you guys going so you guys can see it so I'm gonna go you're not gonna bye bye for a little bit but I'll still be here talking you through all right so I chose to use yellow and green paint and I put the paint on top of each rubber band They've already dripped a little bit because of our friend gravity, which pulls everything to the ground. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the craft stick and I'm just gonna hit the rubber band and it's gonna splatter on the box. Just like that. Isn't that cool? I hope you enjoy making a painting using rubber bands, which are like strings, which we use for our guitar. And I cannot wait. I hope I get to see the abstract piece of artwork that you make at home. Now, hello once again. Uh, for our other art project we're going to do today, you're going to need two craft sticks and a piece of paper and paint. Um, I chose for this one, yellow paint again, and orange paint. And we're going to harken back to what one of the activities we did at Circle Time, which was writing a song with rhythm sticks and making the ta, ti, ti, ta sound. So, we're gonna pretend that the craft sticks are drumsticks and I'm gonna drum the sticks on the piece of paper in the paint and s 
say ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, and see what music and painting I can create together. So I'm gonna point the camera one more time towards the art project so you can see what I'm doing. I'm not going anywhere. I'll talk you through it. So I'm gonna squirt some orange paint. Let's see. There we go. And some yellow paint. And now I got the craft sticks and I'm gonna go ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta, ti, ti, ta. Isn't that fun? And a great way to combine music and artwork together. I didn't uh, play music while I did the art project because I wanted you to hear my, be able to hear me. But I do invite you when you do the art project at home to play some music. You can play classical music. You can play your favorite Disney songs, or you can play sp Spanish music, or any music from another country, if you have it. You have music from France, I bet Lucas does. You can play that while you do these art projects, and it would be really interesting to see how the music affects how your artwork turns out. If it's soft music, maybe it will show in your painting. Or if it's loud music, maybe that will show in your art. We'll have to find out together. I had a great time with you all today, and I hope you had a lot of fun hearing the story of Fox Found a Box and making some artwork with me and learning how to write a song with rhythm sticks. And I can't wait to work with you all tomorrow. What is tomorrow? Do we remember? Tomo tomorrow's Wednesday. You all are so smart and I miss you very much. Bye for now.